Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update for the Panda palette for you guys. And before I jump into that, I have a quick question for you guys. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A. I've been filming for a good few years now probably and I've never really done something like this. I filmed my morning routine the other day and uh, I saw that um, the people that watched it, if you haven't watched it yet, I'll make sure it's linked up here. Uh, I put a good bit of effort in it, so if you want to watch it, you can find it there. Uh, I noticed that people like kind of getting a little bit of a look in my life, so I thought maybe it's about time I do a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you ask them down below and uh, they might come up in an upcoming video. So yeah, that with regards to that, now moving on to what you guys came here for, the Panda palette. First of all, as always, you guys know I'm working on three palettes, starting off with the first one, which is the, well, it is in the Too Faced Clever To Go palette, but as you guys know, this is the silver that is still left from my Too Faced Enchanted Glamourland palette. So let's take a quick look at where that was at last time. And I was hoping to make just some nice progress on this, um, mainly work away at the corners that still have a little bit of product left. And now this is where we are right now. And as you can see, the corners are cleared out. I know some of you were saying like you might be able to finish this off in the next like couple of months. It's probably gonna take me a little bit longer. I have been wearing this, I think about 10 times or so on top of the purple mainly, as you can see, I'm doing that today as well. Um, like maybe it will go a little bit quicker once I finish off the 365 days of eyeshadow, but for now I'm making slow but steady progress and we will get there. I think, <laughs> I hope a good bit before the end of the year this one will be out and I won't be showing this to you guys anymore. But until then you will be seeing it in these updates. Then the LA Colors Lush Palettes. Uh, I've made some really nice progress on this one, so first of all, let's take a look, quick look at what that one looked like last time. And my goals for this one was uh, to hit pan on the yellow and also hopefully hit pan on the purple. And now this is where we are today. And as you can see, I hit my goals. Uh, I have hit pan on both the yellow and the purple. Um, but let's go through the shades one by one. Um, the white shade, as you guys know, is kind of my inner corner shade most of the time today as well. And I'm making slow progress on it. Instead of kind of going around the bit that already has pan here, I'm starting to create the slightest bit of a dip in the, uh, like, what is still left of the eyeshadow, basically. So I'm starting to work my way towards there instead of kind of expanding the pan at the moment. I don't know why, it's just easier to pick up product that way. Um, the yellow has been my transition shade most of the month, so I've used that a good few times, probably around 20 times or so over the next month, and it shows. There definitely is a good bit of pan, so I think within the next one or two months, I might be able to finish that one off. The green, I don't think I used. I was just really focused on the purple, so... I just haven't really dipped into the green yet so far. The blue I may have used once or twice, but I don't really think so. The pen probably doesn't look a whole lot bigger than last time either. Um, and then lastly, of course, the purple. I think I've used that about, what would it be, like 10, maybe a little bit more uh, times. And then I hit pen on it. So I hit pen on it during the previous use. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, which is kind of like the first use after hitting pen. So the pan has expanded a little bit already. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about the fact that this actually is starting to look used now. We've got some pans. We can start expanding some pans. Um, although the green still needs a little bit of work. Well, <laughs> all the shades need a little bit of work still. But yeah, I'm really happy with the progress that I managed to make on that one. And then of course we have the Bourgeois Smoky Eyes uh, Trio in Nude Ingenue. And let's take a quick look at where that one was at last time. And, and I was, like I said, mainly going to be using the lighter shade and probably not like showing too much progress yet on the other ones. And I don't know how well you guys can see that, but 
the lighter shade is really getting pretty, um, well, not as rounded anymore, I guess. The, uh, the dome is de definitely starting to get a little bit smaller and flatter. Um, yeah, so for that one, maybe I can hit pan on it by next time, I don't know. Um, I've used that, trying to think, probably around like somewhere between 10 and 15 times. I was still trying to finish up the last little bit of Virgin before I really dove into this one. And I did finish off Virgin kind of around the end of last month, beginning of this month. And then it was full on this one as my brow bone highlight. I've used the other two shadows, I think once or twice or so. I've got both of them kind of mixed in my crease at the moment. This one to darken up like the whole crease and this one more on the outer part. So that is uh, what I'm doing with this one. And then it is time for goals. So for next time, I want to keep working on that silver shade in here. Uh, I don't have a specific goal. I probably just want to kind of try and see if I can get about half of it finished off, at least kind of like half of the pen showing. It's a little bit higher up on the, on the top side here. It's hard to see from there as well, I feel like, but yeah. I'm gonna keep working on it, using it as a layering shade. It really helps me uh, kind of tone down these shades a little bit. Sometimes I need to be careful that I don't put on too much and make it a full on silver look. Then for the LA Colors palette, I um, definitely wanna keep working on the yellow. I'm gonna try and at least hit side pen over here, but also just keep expanding the pen in general. Like I said, if I keep working on it the way that I have been, I might be able to finish it off in the next two updates. Probably not by next time, but um, I don't know if it's too much for me to try and actually hit pan on the green shade, but it would be pretty nice if I have pan on the green shade as well. So I might just work towards that, um, at least get a proper dip in the green shade. So the yellow and the green will be my main focus shades in this one for the next month. And then in this one, it is gonna stay the light shade. Like I said, I'm I'm just gonna see if I can hit panel it. I don't know how deep the pen goes once it's kind of like even with the packaging because it's getting pretty close to that. I don't know how much further it goes inside basically. So we're gonna find out. But yeah, those are, I guess, the kind of four goals that I have at the moment. And uh, we'll see how I will do on them. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to pair that green with like, maybe any shades that you know I have, like either here or in my Panda's Eye shadows. And apart from that, that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye bye!